Welcome. My name's Stephen Mill and I'm a landscape photographer from New Zealand and welcome to my channel. So today's video is just kind of a bit of a photo walk really. You know I've lived in Hamilton now for five years and I very rarely take photos down here because I really struggle to see images and compositions and things that are I like to take photos of. And one of the main features in Hamilton is the Waikato River, which is a beautiful river. And a few weeks ago, me and my family went for a bit of a walk along the river and I discovered this place with all these interesting trees and signs of erosion around the riverbed that's unearthed all these quite interesting tree roots and there's some dead trees and so I thought I'd step out of my comfort zone a little bit and just come and give it a go, you know. Sometimes you've got to do that to um, to find a new way with things and to grow, you know, grow as a, a photographer. So, you know, you've got to step out of your comfort zone. So yeah, this video is quite a short one. It's just really a photo walk of me walking up and down the river, taking some photos with my Mamiya 7 and my 50 millimeter lens. Yeah, so that's that's enough about me and yeah, sit back and relax for 10 minutes and enjoy the video. Talk to you soon. I'm very fortunate that I'm able to explore some of the far reaches of New Zealand but far too often I fail to explore my own back garden. Quite often I'm planning these big adventures, multi-day trips, hauling all my gear all over the country and whilst that's absolutely fantastic Sometimes it's quite exhausting and sometimes it's just quite pleasant to be able to step out your front door with your camera and your backpack and just go and shoot locally. Whilst both these images have sharpness problems caused by my own focusing errors, I was really happy with the subjects themselves the composition and how the images turned out finally. However, they weren't quite good enough to make my portfolio, although I've made a mental note and I will definitely be returning to these locations again. Even though the first two images didn't quite meet my own expectations, I felt really happy and lucky just to be able to have found somewhere locally that I can go out and shoot whenever I want without any great effort and just enjoy it for what it is. I think it's fair to say that my timing of the recording of this video clip could have been better with the obvious background noise. That being said, when I stumbled across this fallen dead tree, I got goose pimples on the back of my neck and I felt excited that I was able to use it within the composition of my image. And oh boy, did the image work out well. So much so that I consider this image to be portfolio worthy. I love exploring and it's one of the reasons why I do landscape photography. Whilst exploring, I take pleasure in finding the finer details in all the chaos that surrounds us.
So I came across this tree a few weeks ago and I was just amazed with its form and structure and it was so symmetrical and I just had to come down here to get a shot of it. So I brought my Mamiya 7 out with me today and I've got a wide angle 50mm lens on there which is 25mm equivalent and I've got a roll of Ilford uh, Delta 400 in there so black and white something still very new for me. So yeah I'm just going to get a couple of shots of this and it's quite a dynamic scene um, so I'm going to do a bit of expo exposure bracketing so my first shot's at 8 seconds and then my second shot's at 4 seconds So I'm just going to do my first shot now, I'm at f8 So 8 seconds First one, and now I'm going to do four seconds. And that's it. The softer qualities of the second image was my favourite, and I think you'll agree that this image is spectacular and provides enough detail for the eyes to wander over. So how was that? Hopefully you enjoyed that. You know, it's we're well into summer now here in, in New Zealand. It's, it's December, approaching Christmas. It's only a week away, really, to finish work. And then in two weeks' time, it's Christmas. You know, so it's we're getting into you know the warm, warm period in in, in New Zealand now. And uh, you know, we've got longer days and warmer nights. So it's currently. 20 to 9 here in New Zealand. So yeah, how was that? Let me know. You know, leave a comment in the section below. I'd appreciate that. Let me know what you think about Ilford Delta 400. You know, it's a new film for me shooting shooting that film, so I'm quite keen to see what that's like when I get it back from the lab and give me some feedback on the photos and you know, I'd be interested to hear what you think of of the river here in, in Hamilton. Or if you've just got any questions, yeah, ask, ask a question. So yeah, that's, that's really it for today's video and I, I hope you enjoyed that and yeah, I'm looking forward to making the next one. Just a bit of an update over, over the Christmas holidays, me and my family are going up north into New Zealand, into, into New Zealand's far north and there's a couple of areas up there that I'm really keen to go and photograph. There's some giant sand dunes that, yeah, I'm excited to go there and explore those areas and see if I can create some you know beautiful images of simple lines and you know sand dunes can be quite difficult so I'm looking forward to challenging myself with that and um, yeah so that's it thanks for watching subscribe to my channel leave a comment and I'll speak to you soon bye for now take care